Hello agents and welcome back to another division video. Today I'm going to go over today's state of the game that aired on the 11th of December 2019. There was not very much news which I think everyone was expecting but they dropped an absolute bombshell in that gear is being reworked and they showed some screenshots that I think most people probably fell off the chair when they saw them because god rolls are back. I'll go over all the small news first and then we'll get to the god rolls news in much bigger detail a little bit later in this video. First of all they started off by talking about how the maintenance took 9 hours yesterday. They apologised and they just said it was a bug that they needed to fix first. They're going to give three silent night apparel keys out to everybody as a way of an apology. They talked about current known issues, the invisible walls are still happening and they were still looking for feedback on that. There was an issue with targeted loot after the 6.1 dropped and they were looking at that from open world activities. There was also a delay in people getting keys if you were a year one pass holder the apparel keys for the new event so they were looking into that but they think they were just being delayed there was an issue with reticles disappearing and if you logged out and logged back in that would be fixed they think it had to do with the new slayer tommy gun uh, but again it was currently being investigated and there was a visual bug with clan caches where it was reporting the wrong gear score uh, but in fact if you open the cache the gear score items were correct and last thing on the priority alerts were that the Thieves Den and Cassie had no stock and that that was being investigated. Next they went on to talk about hardcore mode that launched earlier that week with the patch. They stressed that it is in beta, it does take up one of your character slots so if you had four characters you needed to delete one. They have had a lot of comments in and they wanted to clear a few things up. First one being that the revive hive can get you up from a down state but not from a dead state. There's a piece of apparel, the YOLO cap that is available and there is also some commendations that you can unlock in hardcore mode. Uh, they want to add a fifth character slot for hardcore that will contain all the game functionality including stash and they're looking to do that in the future. But for now it's staying as four and it's staying shared with the current game. They then went on to mention the apparel event, Silent Night. There's four costumes that you can collect from this, Harrier, Reaper, Midnight and Scavenger. It's live now. That's really really good guys. I've got a video on my YouTube of me unlocking all of this apparel. So please go and check that out, I will put the link in below. From the 7th of January though, the keys will no longer be available. Next they went on to talk about the new UI that's coming with episode 3. It was much more than that really as it was showing us not just the UI but actual gear changes as well in the game. I'll throw the screenshot up that they showed and it shows a Fenris backpack and on this Fenris backpack you can see now that armour looks to be static and they confirmed that, Drew confirmed that armour is now static. We had the brand set of bonuses as usual but it had a core attribute and then two other attributes on there that had bars that you could see how well they had rolled and it had a new talent. So just to compare how we currently handle gear and how this is going to be so much better. So currently at the moment we have like a pie this is how they tend to explain it and every attribute or the armour on the all has a cost. So if you imagine you've got a whole pie, every piece of that pie needs to be used. But armour is included in that cost as well as your attributes. And armour is cheaper, it has a cheaper cost than your attributes. Due to this, armour tends to take up around 50 to 60 percent of your armour piece. And that assumes takes all of that cost, it consumes all of that cost. With the rest divided up into attributes. Obviously people know that if your piece of equipment is only going to have one attribute on it it's going to roll way way higher. But that's always going to be dependent on how high or low the armour has rolled. So you will always find much higher attributes on gear that has much lower armour. 
A very brief description of how it currently works. But I find that the division describe it as a pie and a cost system and therefore it's try it's the best really to explain it better like that. So hopefully that was clear. But the differences are going to be now is that the pie is gone. Every core attribute has its own stat range. And what they kind of indicated was that god rolls are going to become a thing. And therefore, because armor is now static, this weapon damage bar could roll right at the top. It could roll 15%. It's pretty it's halfway, so I'm guessing backpack weapon damage on this is about 10%. But it could roll at 10% and that would be full. The explosive damage being the same, that could roll at 10% and that would be full. And the skill damage at 8% is full. So the possibility of getting a god roll backpack with all maxed out attributes will be possible because there is no more pie. All of the attributes are dealt with in their own ranges. They mentioned that armor is static now. Whether that is static dependent on the gear score of the item, I don't know. I would imagine that a gear score 500 item would roll higher than a 488 item. Whether that be the armor roll or the core attribute or the singular attributes as well. Maybe they can roll higher with a a higher gear score, but I guess we'll find out. The gear score might just represent how well an item rolls. This also shows us a new talent called Focus. Increase total weapon damage by 5% every second you are aiming while scoped at 8 times or higher, up to 50%, which kind of reads like a mini Nemesis talent. I'll throw up the second screenshot, and this showed us a Fenris chest. This was a 489 chest, with again, a static armor value. So again, it showed us our brand set bonuses. The core attribute of weapon damage at halfway, which kind of indicates that 9%-ish would be the maximum roll on this. Crit hit damage, a total of 12, which is much lower than what we currently can do now. And health, the health bar was way up there, nearly three quarters full. And if them figures are anything to go by, they're being reduced massively. You can see it has an empty utility mod slot, because of the type of ephemeris that, that it is. And then surprise, surprise, composure is showing on the chest piece and not just the knee pads. This made me wonder if all talents are going to end up being available on all gear pieces and the attributes might actually just be lower across the board. But I guess we'll see. Also guys, one other thing to pick up on here with this screenshot is the Fenris chest only has one talent. So I'm wondering if they've reworked how many talents go on how many gear pieces and if they might all end up being completely even. But we will see. Certainly really, really interesting. The fact that God rolls could be a thing. You know, you could have all three of these bars maxed out. It would be insane and really, really good for the game. Something to really, really grind for. They did mention that recal is getting a change as well. I'm hoping that this doesn't mean that it's easy to create these God rolls. I still want to be able to grind. And I really, really hope this doesn't mean that the optimization station is coming. Thanks for tuning in, guys. That's the end of the video. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. I will be uploading videos at least three to four times a week to do with Division. So get yourself a notification when I do upload. Consider hitting the thumbs up or the thumbs down or commenting below and let me know what you think. Any of the subjects today, if you want to comment on, let me know what you think about the hardcore mode. Currently, I'm a big, big fan. I think it's brilliant. It makes the game feel really fresh. But completing a mission, it feels really, really rewarding. The new apparels are awesome. Let me know what you think about that. Or let me know what you think about the gear and what they're doing on all the changes. The stat allocation, the talents, the pie going. Let me know if you think it's good, bad. I certainly think it is awesome. You can catch me most days of the week streaming over on Twitch twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle. We do raid help, hand out EBs, EZ runs, and now we've been putting together hardcore groups as well. Anything division related, do come over and say hi. 
all the links are below with a public discord as well that has a whole bunch of friendly division community people in there so do drop by and say hello thanks for tuning in guys and i will see you in the next one bye bye